Hello everyone and welcome to the Collider Cup, a preseason event by the ECC. Today I'm joined by Cursed Wolf. Hello. How is yes. the day going? Well, it's been great so far. I just jumped out of the shower, so nice and fresh, nice and ready to get these next few games going for everyone. How about you? Uh, yeah, everything's going fine. I'm pretty excited to be honest. We have seven games streamed today. Four from the upper bracket and three from the lower bracket. So that should be pretty exciting. Indeed it will. We'll be streaming only a few of the games, unfortunately, as it's quite difficult to try and stream. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, six games. I missed five. Don't question it. Try and stream six games all at once in the same time. So unfortunately, you'll only be seeing a few, like Timmy said. But regardless, it's going to be very fun and interesting. Exactly. Yeah, indeed. I mean, some of these teams, obviously, it's been randomly generated. All of these teams, or some of them, either don't actually play. For example, <laughs> the Cupcake cr Crew, or the Dr or the Meme Dream Team. Um, but And some other teams um, will be playing against teams that aren't in their division in the actual ECC League. Would you like to <laughs> promote that a bit? Would you like to explain how the ECC is and works? Well, we have in Season 3 five divisions, ten teams each, and it's going to be pretty exciting. We have teams D3, C2, GC+. So, yeah, a variety of teams, actually. And I'm looking forward to playing. Yeah, indeed. So am I. It's, I mean... All these teams, they're just, the high the high tier teams are amazing. Even some of the lower tier teams can pull off some, like, very impressive gameplay. And it's just all, all around entertaining to watch. But um, do we want to try and get some of these teams going? Some are a bit confused as to when to start. Start whenever you're ready, bit really. Because once they do get an off and going around the time it's meant to, it will be smooth sailing from there. We have unfortunately had two forfeits, one being Team Orion. Uh, what was the other team you said? Uh, and Cypher Red, unfortunately. Ah, unfortunately, yeah. Well, let's, let's just take a look at the bracket. Yes, indeed. So the first games going ahead will be Almany versus or bad as they like to present themselves as <laughs> against <laughs> Nova. Following on at the same time there'll be Zypher Red who have just dropped out against Gonzalians. Right. Then Zypher White versus X2 Romania Junior. Team Alpha versus Emerge Emergence Academy. I need to learn how to speak. I think it's Emergence? Yep, maybe. No, I'm sticking. I'm sticking with how I say it. Don't okay, question me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then Redwater Tidal Waves versus Luna Esports and Igneous Esports Academy against Team Zolarity. And then half an hour past the start off will be Minimum Wage versus Team Bad or Nova, Ascension versus No Hope Esports Cupcake Crew against Gedalians as Zypher Red has dropped out. Irrelevant esports against either Zypher White, X2 Romania Jr., and then Dream Team, Dream Meme Team. That's going to be annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I know who made that team. It's very obvious, but I just dislike you. Yeah, the best mod in ECC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, them versus either Team Alpha or Emergence Academy. Um, looks at like esports have got their win, so they'll be playing all, all later against either Meme Dream Team or Team Alpha or Emergence Academy. Um, Lynx esports will be playing either Tidal Waves or Luna esports, and finally Zypher esports against Igneous Esports Academy or Team Zolarity. Any team that doesn't manage to win their first few games will be dropped down in to the lower bracket where they'll have a second opportunity to get themselves to the top four. 
Exactly, and the top four will continue to play tomorrow at 4 p.m. CET. That's all going to be best of five matches, and yeah, the winner takes it all, I guess. Indeed, they do. Which is nothing, because there's no prize pool. <laughs> May not be a price ball, but you do get a nice little roll on the ECC Discord. <laughs> right. If you aren't in the Discord, there should be a link lower down. If you just click onto that, you'll be able to see all the teams, um, all the up and coming um info about season three and how it will all pan out. The streaming schedule as well, which is a great addition, because now we finally have a structured um streaming schedule. And um, overall, it's just going to be a brilliant season, in my opinion. Definitely a lot to look forward to. Yeah, I think so as well. There will definitely be a lot of surprises. Indeed, there will. Should we try and get these two teams up and going? Yeah, why don't we go into predictions? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I believe Bad played in Division 2, am I right? Last season. Um, out my knee, our Division 2 team, yes. Exactly, and Nova were in the playoffs to potentially get promoted to Division 2. Unfortunately, they failed. They made themselves to the promotion and relegation game. And fortunately, they did lose against Ascension. So yes, Nova are a Div 3 team. But they have proven themselves, and I think it could be pretty close in the end between those two teams. Yeah, indeed. I think it's going to be a fun and interesting game. Nova being very attackive. Attacking, sorry. Almeni will definitely have um, a few tricks up their sleeve. I know they like to do some passing plays and some fancy, let's go with, uh, plays. But overall, I think it's going to be a fun and entertaining first matchup. And who do you think will win in the end? Hmm. I'm going to stick with um, Armini for this first one. Okay. Do we, do we want to go bald and try and predict who's going to win the upper bracket? Uh, the whole upper bracket? The entirety of it, yes. Or the, well, we have top two winners, won't we? Yeah. Well, I think it could be Irrelevant Esports or one of the remaining Cypher teams. I don't know much about some of the teams but maybe they can prove us all wrong indeed i mean a few of these teams will definitely pose a surprise i want to i want to see the meme dream team go a long way although it will be very annoying to cast <laughs> do you think, think so <laughs> yes uh, just the meme dream team going for a passing play and before i could even say it they've scored so you know it's not going to be fun but um for the top two i'm going to say irrelevant esports and zypher esports just because I think they're probably the strongest teams that we have here. But definitely, there'll be teams that can prove us wrong. Yeah, definitely. As to the match right now, Bad versus Nova, I think Nova could take it 2-1. to one. I'm not predicting it because I'm associated with them, but uh, yeah, I think they can do it. Indeed. You have one team in, just waiting for the next, and we can get it and away. So I'm just trying to sort this out. Exactly. Uh, we'll see you shortly when the game starts.
Have we got the games underway? Is the casting all sorted? Am I ready? That's the main question. Indeed, I am. And first off, Kirito trying to play the ball over to Leon. Sky with a nice save. Sky now trying to take it around Jazz, who plays it into the center. And Eskimo has just played it slightly out. Kirito with a nice shot and saved by Perfect there. And Jazz taking his time. Looks like he's going for a flick. Gets it over one. Can he get over the next? No, unfortunately he can't. And Kirito with a nice shot and the ball goes in. Let's have a quick look at how this happened. Perfect. Played it out to the side and bounced just in front of Kirito. He took an early shot. Powerful one as well. And Eskimo could not reach the ball in time. First goal within. Just over 30 seconds and Leon plays the ball into the center to Kirito who couldn't quite get it over Perfect and Sky. Attempted to get over Jazz. Couldn't do so there. Leon. Plays it to Jazz, who plays it into the center. Kirito gets beaten. Sky with an opportunity. Hits the crossbar. Jazz now playing it over to the side with Leon, who just about gets it over perfect, but still managed to get the ball themselves. Sky getting an easy save off of Kirito's shot, and looks like it's an opportunity for Almighty at the moment. Jazz plays it into the center. Eskimo's there. Thinks he's going to get demoed and jumps over Jazz. Kirito with an opportunity for a potential ceiling shot. Very ambitious, but Leon, thankfully, with the 50. Although there was a double commit, so Jazz looks like he's getting an opportunity. Eskimo with a nice save. Sky with a weak clear. Couldn't quite reach the ball a second time. The ball bouncing in front of the blue side net. Jazz trying to play the ball into the center. Looks like an opportunity for Leon, and the ball's in a second time. Let's see this here again. Jazz with a nice little bit of ball control plays it straight into Leon who takes his time and places it into the center of the net no way that Eskimo was fast enough to get to that two goals with three and a half minutes remaining Eskimo winning himself the kickoff and Kirito playing the ball out taking his boost in the process Leon trying to get it around one he gets it to the center looks like he's going to try and ground pinch it past the two couldn't quite do so, unfortunately. He gets a shot off. Eskimo's missed. Sky with a little bit of an own goal, it seems. Let's just have a look at this again. Leon with a nice little shot placed into the crossbar. Sky was none the wiser, expecting Eskimo to save it, it seems. Three goals in with two minutes gone. Nice little kickoff for Team Nova. Eskimo's there in the center, but Kirito well reached. Jazz trying to play it onto the backboard for someone. Unfortunately, no one's there other than Sky. Sky's trying to play it into the center. Kirito gets a nice clear, but Eskimo well read it. And the ball's placed into the center. Leon gets a clear. Perfect with a shot. Saved by Kirito. Kirito playing the ball out into the center. Jazz gets it over one. Perfect. Couldn't quite reach it. And it's 4 0 with just over. Half the game remaining. Jazz with a nice little redirect, it seemed. Placing it into the bottom corner over all the players. Sky and Leon going for that kickoff. Eskimo jumping up, placing it into his own back corner where Jazz is waiting. So he's going to try to get a pass into the center with Kirito to Leon. Worked out well, but the ball is... Potentially going into their own net. Leon trying to beat Sky to the ball. Doesn't quite do so. And now Eskimo. Looks like he's going to try and get around Kirito. Couldn't quite do so. Perfect with a nice demo. Opportunity for Sky now. Just misses the ball, but looks like he faked out Leon regardless. Perfect. Eskimo couldn't quite reach it. And Sky just about not getting it in and Leon zero boost trying to get around perfect couldn't quite do so Kirito with a nice 50 Eskimo trying to go for a little air dribble it seems looks like he's going for a little block couldn't quite get it and ended up bouncing himself back onto the backboard Jazz zero boost ceiling shot goes over one Eskimo awkward control there it seems but in the end he gets the opportunity Leon with a nice save and 
Perfect playing into the center for Sky, who's patiently waiting. Doesn't want to push up too far, otherwise there may be a goal opportunity for how many? Sky playing it into the center. Perfect with a nice flick. Eskimo's there. 50 with Leon. Another 50 between Kirito and Sky. Jazz now trying to play it upfield. Perfect is there waiting. Looks like he's going to get a pinch. Couldn't quite do so. And now, Jazz taking his time. Doesn't get it away from his net. But it seems like Perfect has done it for them with the unsurprising little bit of play. But regardless, Eskimo looks like he's going to try and center this. But Leon is there. Clears it over to Jazz. Jazz playing it under Sky. Too perfect. Well read. Kirito playing it into the center. Can Sky get it to Eskimo? No, unfortunately he can't. He pinches it away. With Jazz who's now trying to play it into the center. Is anyone there? No, unfortunately, but Leon's there to swiftly recover. Looks like him and Kirito wait waiting patiently on the sidewall. Ten seconds remaining. It seems like a total sweep for Amaini. Eskimo playing it into the back corner. A last ditched effort to get themselves the goal, maybe. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. The second game, about to get it underway now. Hopefully it turns around for Nova. Perfect now, trying to get the ball out of their half. Leon there to swiftly recover. Looks like he's going to try and play it onto the backboard. Out to someone, unfortunately no one other than Perfect, I believe that was, was there. Kirito trying to get around Eskimo. Gets a nice 50. Again with Sky Pinch almost in the top corner of his own net. Jazz now taking the ball up. Leon is there. Gets a nice angle. Hits the crossbar. All players have no miss. And unfortunately, Kirito is there to clean it up. Very unfortunate for Nova there. Again, just over 30 seconds remaining and in, uh, into the game, sorry. Kirito with a nice little denial f on Eskimo's flick. Perfect. Taking his time. Ball bounces out. Couldn't quite reach it. And Eskimo is there to clear it. Eskimo again now. Looks like he's going to try and get it around Kirito. Couldn't quite do so. But Kirito's there to play it into the center of Jazz. Jazz with a nice little drop down to Kirito. Perfect with a nice clear upfield. Eskimo's there to reach it, tries to play it back into the center. Sky's there, takes a shot. Kirito, just after being upfield, manages to get back and get the save for his team. Gets in a nice little fake on Eskimo as well. Jazz, after getting bub with a nice recovery, plays it into the center. Leon's there, gets a touch, tries to play it onto the backboard, and Eskimo's there to save it. Kirito plays it into the center once more. Jazz is there this time. Perfect with the save instead but Leon a shot afterwards into the crossbar this time and perfect playing it away from the center of his net Kirito again trying to get a pass into the center 
Sky getting it around two players this time after they double committed. Perfect. Trying to get over Leon. The ball slowly rolling into their net and Jazz thankfully saves it and pushes the pressure towards Nova. Leon with a nice shot. Perfect is there to clear it. Quite weak as Jazz is there waiting but Perfect again trying to play it into the center to his own teammate and Eskimo missing the ball. The ball looks like it's going in. Perfect with a great save. Kirito trying to play it into the center. Sky this time clearing it away. Jazz taking a shot himself. Just onto the backward off of Eskimo's touch. Sky getting a second save afterwards and Perfect trying to clear it. Half the game just about gone and this time there's only a one goal deficit. A shot again, is it in? Jazz with a great angle, I've just spoken too soon. Let's have a look at this again, Eskimo playing it back, bounces out to Jazz, Jazz taking a nice little angle, perfect, expecting that to, not to go in, but having to drive backwards to get the ball regardless. Two goals with half the game remaining, can Nova win back a game? Eskimo now, trying to play the ball into the centre. Leon, however, is there to swiftly recover it. Jazz. Just bouncing it out. Almost gets an opportunity himself. Plays it into the center. Leon just finishing the job. Three goals, two minutes remaining. Let's have a look at this once more. Jazz, just taking his time up on the wall. Places it into the center. Sky unable to reach the ball. Leon, however, could. Places it just under the crossbar. No one else can reach it. Again, two minutes just about remaining and can perfect. Secured himself and his team a goal. Is this the momentum swift switch that they are needing? Just playing it under Jazz. Leon expecting Jazz to take the hit and wasn't rotating back in time. This could hinder the Amini team greatly. Perfect. Again, a nice little kickoff. Leon plays it upfield and Eskimo's there to pinch it away. Leon just missing the ball himself, but Kirito waiting, gets it around Eskimo. And a sky, it seems. Pinches it down, couldn't quite get it to Jazz. Perfect, again, the nice clear. Leon trying to get rid of the ball. The ball rolls out, but just misses the ball himself. Eskimo with a nice angle. Kirito with the save that he needed for his team. Jazz just getting rid of the ball in time. Perfect, now trying to play the ball onto the backboard. It bounces down. Couldn't quite reach it. Opportunity now for Almaini. The ball looks like he's going to play onto the backboard. It does bust. Looks like it goes past two players. Sky with a great save off Leon's shot. But Kirito, after demoing Eskimo, secures himself another goal. He, he read that little save well off of Sky. It looked very unpredictable. As it bounced off the back of his car or it was hitting the post and going straight down but regardless he managed to get the goal very unfortunate for nova however the ball played into the center perfect playing that upfield it looks like it's gonna try and play it into the center to eskimo couldn't quite do so leon now trying to play the ball upfield kirito's there instead leon looks like he's gonna try and play it over to jazz who just couldn't quite get into the center Kirito conveniently demoing, perfect, and Leon playing it up high to Kirito who plays it back down to Leon who gets bumped by perfect. Just very unfortunate for them there. The passing plays are definitely showing through, perfect. Trying to get an opportunity there. Eskimo taking his time with a nice touch. Gets it around two players, an opportunity now allies. Plays it into the center to perfect. Looks like they're going for a pinch. A nice little shot straight into Leon, however. Perfect, gets it. Couldn't quite get it, sorry. And Leon gets it underneath both Sky and Perfect. An opportunity now for Leon to play it into the center. Eskimo with a nice little hit and mix. I believe that was as uh, Kirito to play that wide. Perfect. Looks like he's going for a little pinch. Gets it with Leon and opportunity now. Gets a fake on Kirito and places it bottom corner. 10 seconds remaining. Two goals deficit. Perfect. Well recovered. Pinching that with Leon. Leon didn't quite get that away like he wanted to. Kirito. Expecting Perfect to take the early shot on Kir Kirito missing. Perfect there, securing the goal. Again, with a two-goal deficit. Ten seconds remaining, however. Can they get it? Eskimo, Sky, both there on the wall. 
Esco again around one. Three seconds remaining. And it doesn't look like they can get the two goals. Kirito plays the ball onto the back, but it's rolling down. Ball kept up. Leon couldn't quite get the goal. Well, did then go as I was expecting it to go? It's best of three, right? Uh, yeah, but they won two already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just confused. Yeah, so bad taking the game. Quite convincingly. Indeed, they did. Very unfortunate there. Nova couldn't quite get the goals or the pressure that they wanted and needed to secure themselves that best of three. All games up until tomorrow, isn't it? Are a best of three? Yeah, that's right. So it should be quite a quick and it shouldn't last too long, but regardless, 10 minutes until the next game. Exactly, See we're you. going to update the bracket real quick and uh, yeah, then we'll be back with the next match Ascension versus No Hope Esports.
So, hello everyone, we are back and a lot has happened actually. <laughs> a lot of forfeits, as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, Cypher Red forfeited against Godalians. Uh, X2 Romania Jr. forfeited against Cypher White. Uh, Team Arthur forfeited against Emergence Academy. And Team Orion against Luxor Esports. And No Hope Esports. Forfeited against Ascension, the game we were supposed to stream. Yeah, very unfortunate there. So we have jumped a little bit down the bracket. Be now streaming the most terrifying game for me. The meme dream team <laughs> against Emergence Academy. Two team names that I apparently can't pronounce. <laughs> but yeah, then it'll go on to... Ascension against either Minimum Wage or Amani. Then Gedalians against either Irrelevant Esports or Zypher White. Uh, Luxa Esports against either the Meme Dream Team or Emergence Academy. And dependent on how the next few games go, um, Igneous Esports Academy against Team Zolarity is currently 1-1 from, uh, from what I've heard. And so they'll be playing, one of them will be playing Zypher Esports Whoever wins that will then play Lynx Esports or Redwater Tidal Waves, and it'll continue from there. Yeah, I mean, next up, the Meme Dream Team against Emergence Academy. What are your thoughts? Hmm. I mean, I've managed to play against both teams. Regardless of the Meme Dream Team not actually being a team, I've managed to play against that lineup regardless. But um, I think um, Emergence Academy are just going to take it. Waffle, the uh, probably their strongest player of the Meme Dream team, alongside Flake. Can't say much about Weevil. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> overall, I think the Meme Dream, Dream team do have a strong lineup, but regardless, it is going to go, um, in my opinion, to Emergence. Yeah, for Emergence, I see Mr. Boopy is playing a streamer I quite uh, enjoy. So, they should be good. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, I think uh they're gonna take a two O. Yeah, I mean we're gonna have to stall this a little bit as um one of the players they are unfortunately trying to take their time a little bit. I don't know what's the issue, unfortunately. So do we wanna go for our predictions for some of the other games that are gonna be played but won't be streamed? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Start at the top with minimum wage versus Almine. Hmm. Both Div 2 teams now. A minimum wage making themselves the winner of Div 3 via promotion. And Almine, a remaining Div 2 team. And so it's going to be a very tough game, that one, in my opinion. I want to see. I'm going to say, however, with the strong performance that. Um, how many pose at the start? I think they're gonna take that game. Yeah, I I agree. Even though minimum wage proved themselves in their first season, promoting right off the bat. I mean, it's quite impressive. They played insane in the playoffs. I think it could be close, but in the end, I think Omani is gonna take it. Yes, indeed. We'll move down then to irrelevant esports and Zypher White. Do you wanna start this one? Ooh, that could be a close one. I believe uh, Cypher White aren't playing with their original lineup, so they might have some issues playing together. Relevant Esports, I haven't seen them play yet, but I think they are quite strong. Uh, they are in the Champs Division, right? In the next season? Yes, they are the, um, uh, the old Relevance team that have now promoted themselves. Yeah, so okay. Probably, yeah. yeah, I'm just saying uh, Cypher is going to take it. <laughs> no real reason, <laughs> but... It's very difficult to distinguish when you don't really have a team you know much about, especially with the Cypher White. So yeah, I'm I'm going to agree with you there, although I would like to see a very intense game matchup. Um, but it's, I'm going to say a 2-1 to Zypher there. Um, swiftly moving on to Lynx Esports versus Redwater Tidal Waves. 
Yeah, so Lynx Esports, they aren't a part of the ECC. Uh, I don't know their ranks, so it's a surprise package. I mean, anything could happen. Redwater could take it, Lynx could take it. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen Redwater Tidal Waves improve. They've definitely stepped up the roster a bit as well. So that game will be very intense. And um, I want to say, not knowing much about Lynx Esports, I'm going to go with my, my buddy's uh, Tidal Wave. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. So it seems all of the players are here. Yep. Yeah, however, I still want to go to the final one, which and will be... they are already joining. <laughs> oh, or not? Okay. Well, <laughs> so then, it would have been uh... Zypher Esports against Igneous. I know. I would have said um, Zypher Esports would have won regardless. Yeah, me too. Me too. But we will get into the casting regardless. I'm just gonna call them Team Meme. Because it'll make my life a lot easier. Waffle taking the ball up onto the wall with a nice pinch. Pain bumping him. And Weevil with an opportunity here. Jamie, I think that is. Or oh, the player, he's changed his name. Um, Flake onto the ball. The ball on the wall. <laughs> Mr. Boofy, I believe that was trying to play it over to Jamie, who's taking the ball up and trying to play it. Ball into the center. Flake with a miss. Waffle getting it under one. Flake with an opportunity with a potential 50 the ball goes under weevil with a shot from mr booby and an opportunity now jamie with a nice angle couldn't quite get it into the net mr booby now trying to play the ball in towards the goal weevil with a nice save looks like he's gonna try and play it over into the center to flake who couldn't quite reach it pain he's gonna try and take this ball into the center waffle looks like he does it for them but flake with a nice little pass over to waffle waffle waiting patiently but Mr. Booby's rushing that ball. Weevil playing the ball into the center. Payne trying to get the ball out of the way and Waffle coming across goal. No, across the pitch, sorry. Trying to save it. Mr. Booby, nice shot under Weevil. Waffle was unable to reach the ball there. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this again. He just tucks it under Weevil. Waffle couldn't quite reach it. <clears throat> With three minutes and three quarters remaining, it is 1-0. An opportunity for Weevil there, just plays it wide. And Jamie trying to play the ball out, as does Mr. Booby. And an opportunity now for Waffle, who plays it into the center. Looks like he's going for a little touch himself and pain with a nice little block, they seemed. Flake with an opportunity to clear this. Mr. Booby's there. Ball played down. Flake trying to save it himself and... It seems that the meme team have just scored themselves a pretty nutty own goal. Flake tapping that down, Payne then that into the crossbar, and Waffle trying to flip and block it, ended up scoring it himself. Three minutes and 21 seconds remaining with two goals to Emergence Academy. The ball gets played in the center by Flake, unfortunately no one is there. Payne with a nice shot, looks like he's going into the goal waffle with a nice save however and opportunity again for jamie and this is just it seems very similar to the amani versus nova game it's a strong strong start for emergence academy but i do have hope for uh, the meme team to pull it back and secure themselves a few goals and potentially shift the momentum waffle trying to Get that towards the net. Flake with a nice 50. Weevil just backing away. Pain gets it over Waffle. Ball falls to Jamie. Who 50s it with Weevil. Ball looks like it can go in. However, Flake blocking that. Pain now with an opportunity to play it into the center. Weevil with a nice save. <clears throat> opportunity there. Mr. Booby plays it into the center. Flake's there to clear it. Another opportunity, however, with as Pain plays it back into the center. So does Mr. Booby. Weevil almost scores an own goal. Waffle just taking his time to get rid of the ball. It looks like he has zero boost, however. Jamie played into the center to his teammate who just plays it into the crossbar. Waffle now with an opportunity to clear it. Doesn't quite get it, Mr. Booby. Now waiting patiently as Flake plays the ball into the center and he doesn't get the angle that he wants. Waffle with a nice bump, plays him into the net. And Flake getting it over Jamie, now trying to get it over Payne. Payne now just playing the ball into the center to Jamie who gets 
nice little play into the sky. Waffle there, the only one to reach it. An opportunity now as he gets passed back the ball. Hainu, however, with the clear flake now trying to play it into the centre. However, is an opportunity for Mr. Boopian. Weevil couldn't quite get there. Hits the crossbar. And Jamie's there to read the redirect. Rebound? The rebound, not the redirect. Let's have a look at this again. This is Mr. Boopian with a shot. Is it going in? It looks like it would have anyway, but Jamie making sure it was regardless. 4-0 with two minutes remaining. Waffle and Mr. Booby on a demo on the kickoff. Very unexpected and a bit of miscommunication there it seemed by Flake and Weevil as the ball got pushed by the demos. Flake trying to play the ball out and away. Waffle looks like he's going for a lot of demo plays at the moment. The ball almost heading towards the net. Waffle just trying to take a shot out. Mr. Booby now playing it over to the side. Weevil is there, however. Can he get to the ball? Unfortunately, he can't pin with a shot. Flake with a clear. Weevil looks like he's going to try and dunk it. He does get it up and to the left side. Opportunity now for Waffle, it seems, who to play it into the center, but it just bounces back. Flake with a nice angle, and the ball's in. Just over a minute remaining. Let's have a look at this. Waffle with a nice little... Powerful shot, plays the ball into the center. Flake with a nice little angle to place it straight into the center of the net. In between two of the players. Securing themselves the first goal of the series. <clears throat> Weevil couldn't quite reach the ball on kickoff. Flake now with an opportunity to clear it. Couldn't quite get so and Waffle just couldn't quite get the angle to clear the ball. It's 5-1 with just over a minute remaining. It seemed that... Mr. Booby had a, a second player with him. They joined and then left the match. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe a bug on the com the computer. I'm not entirely sure. But regardless, the ball played into the center. Payne now trying to play it over to Jamie. Flake trying to read where the ball's going to go. Couldn't quite reach it himself, however. Waffle trying to get the clear. Gets it around Mr. Booby and Jamie couldn't. Get the ball into the center, but Payne can this time. And Mr. Booby trying to get the angle. Couldn't quite get it. Weevil with a nice clear. Opportunity now. Tries to 50 it with Payne. Doesn't unfortunately get it. And Payne trying to reach the ball. Couldn't get there himself, however. Flake now trying to play the ball into the center. Mr. Booby playing it in the center for him. Nice little clear with Jamie. It seems like Waffle just manages to get the ball with his zero boost remaining. Play Wait, goes upfield waiting for someone to pass it to him. Payne, the only one to reach the ball. Weevil now plays the ball out into the center. He doesn't quite get there. Weevil and a bump on Mr. Booby by Waffle. Very well played. Jamie now playing it back to Mr. Booby or oh, Payne. I couldn't quite tell how that was ending. The second remaining, the ball gets played up. The only player going up for it is Payne who gets the ball upfield. Weevil just trying to make sure the ball doesn't go anywhere. And it is 1-0 in this best of three. Second game about to get underway. Potentially the last one as well. But Waffle with a nice little kickoff. Flake couldn't quite reach the ball. Jamie now couldn't get his final touch to secure himself a goal. Mr. Booby's there, but Waffle with a great save. Payne 
Getting it over Waffle. Takes it up onto the wall. Plays it around one player. Flake playing it onto the back. We're trying to get rid of it. Jamie couldn't quite get the angle that he needed. Waffle now trying to get a flick. Gets around Mr. Booby with a nice power. No one, unfortunately, is there from the meme team to clear it up. A pinch with pain, and I believe that was Flick. Very unfortunate for them to not get a goal. Regardless, 30 seconds into the game only. And an opportunity has arised for both teams. Flake now trying to play the ball onto the backboard for someone. Payne is there to block it. The ball rolling down. Jamie taking his time, trying to flick it. Waffle plays it into the center. Weevil is there. Couldn't quite get to the ball. Flake just jumping too low. Payne looks like he's going for a flick of his own. And Mr. Boopy's there to play it into the center. Is anyone there for it? And only Waffle from the opposing team. Flake with an opportunity to clear it. Hits it high. Waffle's there. Reads the bounce. Couldn't quite get to the ball. However, both players of the meme team have gone up. And it's a goal for Emergence. Payne just jumping up for this. Weevil and Waffle both going up for that. Neither are able to reach it. And the ball just sinks itself into the center of the net. A goal in. With a minute and a quarter gone also. Mr. Booby trying to pinch it. As he does so, the ball could go in. And Waffle, I think, scored that himself. Let's have a look at this, Mr. Booby in pain. Knowing exactly how to pinch that. Looks like it was going in anyway, but Waffle couldn't quite get the angle, and it went in regardless. Opportunity now. The Weevil. The nice kick off. The ball falls to Jamie, to Mr. Booby. Back to Jamie. What a passing play. Three goals with three minutes and 33 seconds remaining. This does indeed, unfortunately, look very one-sided. Regardless, this game could potentially still go either way with maybe a bit of kickoff luck or strategy. You never know from these players. And Waffle now trying to play the ball into the center to Flake, who can't quite reach the ball. Waffle again to Flake, backs away. Thank thankfully for his team, sits himself in the net. Mr. Booby with an angle, ball falls to pain. He can't quite reach it. The Weevil now trying to play the ball into the center for a teammate, but no one's there. Pain off of Jamie. He doesn't get the hit. Weevil playing the ball into the center. Opportunity now. Mr. Boopy can't quite read the clear from Waffle. Jamie trying to get a read on Flick. That time, unfortunately, he was unable to. Mr. Boopy with a nice little play of just tucking that into the bottom corner. Four goals with just over half the game remaining. Very, very surprisingly to me, not that close as I thought it would be. Mr. Booby now trying to play the ball. Into the center he couldn't quite do so. Payne now just taking a touch, playing it. Up onto the wall now. Waffle with a nice little pinch to stop him from going for anything fancy. Flake now with an opportunity. Plays it high. Jamie's there to miss it. Payne plays it across goal. Very dangerous there. Weevil couldn't quite read the bounce. And Flake with a pinch that he couldn't quite get to. Opportunity now. As the ball plays itself into the center. Flake having to play it away from his net. Payne is there to stop it. Both Flake and Waffle going for that. Neither able to hit it. Mr. Booby with an opportunity for Weevil. The Lord and Savior trying to get the ball away from the net. And Waffle with a nice little angle to center it. Payne getting it around Waffle once more. Mr. Booby playing that up high. Jamie is there. Gets like a... I believe that was the flipper set. I couldn't quite tell. He may have just had his flip the entirety of the time. Mr. Booby with a nice little bit of control. Flick with a first save. Weevil with a second block. F Waffle with the third. Mr. Booby playing that into the center. Flake with a nice clear. Unfortunately, it's quite weak. Payne with an interesting shot of his own. Flake looks like he faked. 
pain. And now Weevil playing that into the center waffle this time. Trying to get around one. Indeed he does. Unfortunately he can't get around the next. Pain's there. Beaten by Flake, however. Mr. Boopy doesn't reach the ball. An opportunity from Flake. Very well placed. Just under a minute remaining. Just places that behind in back post away from both players regardless of them rotating the same way as the shot being taken neither could reach it the ball played up the wall weevil backing away smartly and flake with an opportunity can't reach it himself nor can pain weevil trying to get the clear flake couldn't quite get the doink waffle couldn't read the hit can't read the bounce weevil with a great save off of mr booby's shot or he was played straight at him, otherwise may have gone a different way. Weevil now flicking it high. Can he reach it himself? No, unfortunately he can't. Payne's there to back it away. Waffle missing the ball himself, however. Jamie playing the ball over to Payne, who's blocked by Waffle. Mr. Booby now playing it up, who can't reach the ball a second time. The Weevil playing the ball upfield. It seems like it's going to stay 4-1. Five seconds remaining. Four, three... Two and one. The ball gets played up. Zero seconds. And it's a secured win for Emergence Academy. Yeah, what a great match, actually. Uh, Emergence Academy did better than I expected, to be honest. Well, I did know the team of Emergence. They, I believe they are C3 or Champ 3, Champ 2, roughly. But regardless of that, we do have a few new score updates um, through the screenshots. It seems that um, the Zypher White versus ILV Esports, or Irrelevance Esports, is going to a game three. Um, Le uh, Leon and Almany have just beaten um, minimum wage 2-0. And um, Redwater Tidal Waves against Lynx Esports. Lynx Esports winning that game 2 0. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, from what I've seen, Emergence Academy, they have a good chance at making top four. Their rotations were on point, they were dangerous in front of goal. Could be very interesting indeed in the end. Indeed, it can. Also, a quick little update for Igneous and Team Zolarity. Igneous has won it 2-1. And so it appears that they will be moving on against Zypher Esports. Yeah, Zypher Esports green to be exact. In is it the, I couldn't tell which team it was. Yeah, yeah, it was, it's green. Okay, well, thanks for confirming. The next game, however, that we will be streaming will be pick pick your pick your cho choosing. Uh, yeah, it will be Godalians against the winner of Irrelevant Esports versus Cipher White. Okay. And I feel like that's going to be intense, and uh, we'll see each other again in a few minutes.
So we are back with a bracket update. Matches have been played. For example, bad beat minimum wage 2 to 0. And uh, irrelevant esports beat Cypher White 2 to 1. That must have been a close game. It did, it was. The next up, or the next up of some of the few games, unfortunately the Igneous and Zypher Green game has been delayed slightly by half an hour, so they'll be playing this and thankfully I guess we might be able to stream whoever makes it towards the end. But regardless, the next up and coming games will be Almine versus Ascension, which has been a reoccurring game throughout the entirety of the ECC as they have both been very equal in the skill level, the skill rankings. Um, and then next up, for you guys to be seeing on stream, that team, <laughs> Irrelevant Esports, <laughs> against Cardalians. God damn it. Um, also, I mean, I don't know how close this game may be. I'm, I've, I mean, we've both played against Cardalians, so... Maybe you we can get you want to give an accurate uh, prediction for this game coming up. Uh yeah, 
I think yeah we played them and I think we beat them as well in yeah we did so I think it's gonna be an easy task for irrelevant to be honest fair enough I'm gonna agree with you on esports win but regardless the next game after all the same the next game on the same time sorry will be Eminence Academy against Luxor esports then Lynx Esports versus either Zypher Green or Igneous Esports. And in my opinion, the Zypher Green are going to take that game. I don't know about you. Yeah, I agree. But um, should we go through the three other games we mentioned about who might win? With Ascension and Armani and Emergence Academy so Esports. And then Lynx and whoever may win the next one. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Ascension versus Omani, I don't really want to choose. Could go either way, <laughs> to be honest. It will be a very close game, in my opinion. And the same goes for Emergence Academy versus Luxor Esports. I think that could be quite close, too. <laughs> I mean, Luxor are now um, Champions Div team after winning against Bungalow Boys in the final game of ECC Season 2. And so I think Luxor might take that game. For how many this is Ascension, I'm going to go with... Um, I mean, Ascension aren't using their strongest lineup, but... And so for that reason, I think I'm going to go with um, how many to take that game. And regardless of who wins again with Zypher, Green, or Igneous Esports, I believe... Um, Zypher Green will win, and then later on will win against Lynx Esports. Yeah, I, I can agree with that, yeah. And then we have also the lower bracket games, but I think we are a bit short of time, because all the players are already, already in the lobby, so we should get that one going. Well, unfortunately, we can't just yet. Um, I've just been messaged and told that Ejap has had to go off for something very quickly, and she shouldn't take too long. Um, do we want to talk about the lower brackets, as they'll be playing roughly at the same time? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so... We have Redwater Tidal Waves versus Cypher Red, if they make it on time. Because that's an uncertainty so far. Yeah, they've heard been back from them. trying to grab, they're just trying to, uh, Redwater are trying to grab their th a th themselves a third player to play against Cypher Red, but regardless, I think Cypher Red are going to win that game. Yeah, definitely. And whoever loses against Igneous Esports and um, Zypher Green, which will probably be Igneous, will play against um, X2 Romania Junior. Uh, yeah, but I think they dropped out completely. Not sure, so I have to check that. Yeah, we'll have to make check of that. Um, the Meme Dream Team versus um, Nova. And that'll be quite an interesting game in my opinion. Yeah, but I think uh, Nova are quite strong, and the meme dream team is just a meme. <laughs> <laughs> True, I think Nova are going to take that one, in my opinion. Yeah. And whoever goes on to winning that will get a pass against Team Orion. Um, Zypher White then against Team Zolarity. Zypher White, in my opinion, are going to quite easily sweep that game. Yeah. And then the Cupcake Crew against Luna Esports, where I think that um, Cupcake Crew are going to take that one. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen Luna play, and I know the players of Cupcake Crew, but I think Luna could quite well take it. Fair enough. And most, uh, finally, but most, most importantly, not least, Minimum Wage against Team Alpha. And I think Team Alpha are going to take that one. Uh, yeah, I think so too. So I think we'll just uh, get this game ready to go. Yeah, and we'll see you shortly.
go. First game of Irrelevance Esports against Gudalion's Xbox team, I believe. Just to have the specifics, but the, it's the only Gudalion's team competing in the Collider Cup. Regardless of that, Nitrox playing the ball out to the side. Glemothy trying to play the ball up into the center, can't quite do so. Hyper trying to play the ball across to a player, Croco missing. And um, <laughs> Lady Am Amelia will be referred to as EJAP if I'm not mistaken. Regardless of this, Nipsha trying to play the ball into the center. Croco with a nice shot into the crossbar, couldn't quite get there. EJAP with a great angle. Let's have a look at this once more. Croco taking a nice shot, playing that too high, however. And Glemothy couldn't quite reach the ball where Ejap placed that into the top corner. Just over 30 seconds gone and the ball played out to Crocker who plays it over to Niptrox. Plays a nice ball forwards. Looks like it's going to go into the center for Crocker to play it back into someone. Unfortunately, Glemothy was there and got rid of the ball for Gedalians. Ejap trying to play the ball into the center. Niptrox, I believe that was, couldn't get it forwards. Glamothy and Hype both trying to get the ball out. Crocker playing the ball towards his own net. Hype with an opportunity, but Niptrox is there to get rid of it. Opportunity now for Niptrox with a zero boost. Gets a nice little control. Plays the ball into the center. It looked like more Xbox. Looked more like Xbox Gedalians played that into the center. We'll have to have a look at this again. Yes, they just bumped each other and Ejap just played the ball into the center of the net, <clears throat> allowing the goal to be scored. Two goals in for Irrelevant Esports. This does look like a quite comfortable game for them to win. And Crocker playing the ball up. <laughs> I know I should be able to pronounce this guy's name because apparently he's Welsh, but I clearly can't. Kyleggy trying to play the ball upfield. Ejap playing the ball onto the backboard. Hype is there, but Karaka plays the ball. Niptrox just hitting the crossbar as well. Kailagi trying to get rid of the ball. Bounces it back into the center. Glemothy playing the ball almost into the center, but cleared by Karaka. Kailagi trying to play the ball upfield. Bounces the ball into the center. Karaka is there and plays it outwards. Glemothy now trying to get rid of it, but Ejap is there. Niptrox with an opportunity. Can't quite get the goal on target. And Hype playing the ball up forwards. Can Kylie reach it? Yes. Plays the ball into the center. Glemothy's there just with a weak shot on Crocker. Plays it across to Ejap who plays it straight forwards. Can Crocker get there? Yes, he can. 3-0 with just under half the game remaining. A nice little angle there. Hype unable to reach the ball. And it's again 3-0 to Irrelevance Esports. Niptrox playing the ball forwards. Cliffy getting demoed by Niptrox at the same time. Crocker playing the ball up onto the backboard. And Hype is there to clear it. Ejap playing that ball towards the net. And Cliffy with a nice clear. Hype could I just muted my mic. I didn't realize that's very annoying. Um, can Mr. Karaka playing the ball upfield? Niptrox playing the ball out. Doesn't quite do so. And Ejap trying to get a shot on target. Mr. Crocker this time gets the goal. Was my mic working earlier? I couldn't tell. I don't know what, at what point I muted it. Timmy, can you confirm, please? Okay. I must have clicked both the buttons at the same time. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that. Regardless of that little bit of technical issue, it is 4-0 with just under two minutes remaining. Ejap playing the ball forwards. Kyligi playing the ball up towards ILV's goal with Ejap easily clearing it. Hype playing it into the center. 50 with, I believe that was Crocker. Kyligi now on the ball. 
Up onto the wall, plays it into the center. Glemothy can't quite reach it. Ejap with a nice shot. Can Hype reach it? Yes, he can and gets the save. Glemothy with a demo on. Ejap there. Kyligi playing the ball into the center. And Hype couldn't quite reach it. An opportunity now for Niptrox or Karaka. Both jumping up for it. Karaka securing himself a hat trick. Very well placed. No one from Gedalians could reach the ball or had rotated back strongly enough to stop it. Opportunity now. The ball goes over. Glemothy and Kylagi couldn't get into the net in time with Niptrox Nip unable to reach it. I mean, no, Niptrox was the one who scored. I don't know what I'm talking about. Leave me alone. Um, six goals to nil. With a minute remaining, this definitely looks like a strong performance from ILV. Mr. Crocker playing the ball up and out. Couldn't quite get it though, however. Niptrox trying to clear it. Hype playing the ball towards Kylie who can't quite get himself an opportunity to get and also gets faked by Ejap. Ejap playing the ball into the center. Kylie with a nice save. Glemothy trying to clear it. Couldn't quite get the angle that he wanted. Opportunity now for Mr. Karaka. Kylie cannot reach the ball in time. 7 0. 38 seconds remaining. <clears throat> Off Kylie now playing the ball up field. Opportunity now for Ejap. He plays it over to Crocker. Kylie well read, trying to get rid of it. <clears throat> Hype now trying to play the ball into the center. Glemothy with an opportunity. Can't quite get the angle, Mr. Crocker. Just playing that ball up field towards the Gedalian's net. Ejap playing the ball into the center once more. Can't quite. Clear it, Crocker playing the ball into the center. Finally, with three seconds remaining, is there another goal? Kylie getting rid of it. Hype missing, Glemothy keeping it up. Crocker also keeping it up. Is this an opportunity potentially for Brazil? Not entirely with ILV Esports winning the first game. Second game underway now. Looks like a comfortable win, it seems it will be for ILV. Hype trying to play the ball into the center. And Ejap's already there. Opportunity. Tries to get the fake, but Kylie is there to save it. Niptrox with an opportunity. Gets a nice little flick. Kylie gets a demo on. I believe that was Ejap. Yes, it was. And Glemothy with a pinch. Ejap there, swiftly recovering. Hype. No, Kylagi could reach it. Opportunity now, Crocker demos. Hype. Glenfi tries to fake Ejap, but Ejap's there just trying to block the opportunity. Kylagi almost scoring an own goal. 
opportunities. The ball falls down and Crocker scores. Kyle, if Kyler B does score, I am going to celebrate in Welsh. Or, well, not celebrate, I'll just say he scored in Welsh, I don't care. And then he'll have a go at me that I pronounced it wrong. I don't... You know what, I'm, a, I'm a, not actually. 1-0 within a minute. Hype. Can't quite get the ball. Away from his net. An opportunity now for Ejap. Who doesn't get it on target. Glemothy now. Plays the ball up into the centre. No one is there, however. They're both back towards the net. Hype. Playing the ball upfield. Mr. Crocker with a nice control. Gets it over Hype, it seems. Ejap getting it over one. Niptrox trying to get over the one of another, but Kylie was there. Glamothy plays the ball into the center. Ejap playing the ball up and outfield. Kylie getting it over. Ejap can he get over the next? He gets it around Niptrox. I'm not sure if it was a fake. But regardless, it worked. Rocker getting it over one, it seems, but no, a bit of a miscommunication. Kylie now trying to take a shot. Niptrox almost letting that go in, but it hasn't quite a comfortable save. Hype trying to play the ball into the center. Niptrox is there to save it. Glamothy trying to play the ball into the net. Unfortunately, Ejap is there. She gets a nice little sack. Can touch to potentially a teammate. Fortunately, Kylie is the only one to reach it. Crocker playing the ball upfield alongside Niptrox. Kylie playing it out. The ball goes up. Can Kylie get it into the center? Yes, he can. The ball gets pinched outwards. Niptrox trying to follow it, but Hype is there to get rid of it. Crocker can't quite read the little, I believe that was a redirect down by Niptrox. Regardless of it, Glemothy now trying to take control. However, Ejap is there. Opportunity now for Crocker into the center. Ejap's the one to follow it up and Hype trying to clear it. Can't quite do so. An opportunity now again for Irrelevant Esports. Glemothy. Doesn't get the, pa the ball past so anyone. But gets a demo, I believe that was on Niptrox. Crocker playing the ball into the sky. Opportunity now from Ejap to Crocker to Niptrox. The ball bouncing off the post and goes in. Weak final shot, but regardless, it worked. Crocker playing that ball into Niptrox. Niptrox playing it wide. Hyper expecting it to go into the center. And it bounces around him. Nothing he could have done there to help him get that goal. It, get the save from that goal regardless. An opportunity potentially for Glemothy. He can't read Crocker and Ejap with an opportunity now. Gets chipped by, I believe, Hype and Kylie just taking out Ejap. Hype taking out Crocker. Opportunity potentially. No, Crocker just clears it. Gets it over two. Crocker trying to get around the third. Unfortunately, all three players are back in time. Hype is there to clear it. Opportunity potentially as he gets it around. Crocker pinches it with Ejap, however, and Kylagi is forced to head back. Kylagi can't quite reach it, and Ejap playing the ball out. Doesn't reach it. Ball gets pinched out. Kylagi with an opportunity. Can't quite get it around. Ejap. Niptrox with a shot and it goes in bottom corner. Niptrox with a nice, well, a lot of power it seems on that. Glamothy, I think, just boosted the power on it but couldn't quite reach the ball and get it out of his net. 3 0 with a minute remaining. It seems that relevant esports have secured themselves this game. Glamothy playing it out. Ejap with a great read. Almost goes in off of the. Shots. I trying to get rid of it. Crocker is there. Kylie with zero boost forced himself into the net. Crocker trying to get around hype. All three players commit to the target and he can't quite get the goal. Hype, thankfully, for his team. Getting the save off of Ejap. Glemothy trying to get around. Crocker does do so. Trying to get it around Ejap. Does do so. Can he get around Crocker once more? Unfortunately, he can't this time. 
Kyleke with a nice little wave dash, and it seemed that he demoed Crocker from it. An opportunity now. Ejap playing the ball into the center. Crocker just flipping sideways. Hyper playing it over to Glemothy. Glemothy with an opportunity, it seems. But he can't quite reach it. And the ball is hit into the floor. And it's a secured win for Irrelevant Esports. Very comfortable game there. Yeah, the second game, not as one-sided as the first one, but still a comfortable victory for Irrelevant Esports. Indeed, indeed. Next game coming up in roughly seven minutes now will be... Uh, um, the winner of Emergence Academy or Luxor Esports and the winner of Lynx Esports and Cypher Green. Indeed. Dude, I think we have got a few of the uh, the games actually done. I'll have a look at the screenshots now. Um, Luxor have beaten Emergence Academy. And Almany have beaten Ascension. So we'll either have... We'll, ha we'll have Almany versus Relevant Esports. And Luxor against possibly Zypher Green. I think it is Zypher Green if I am not mistaken. Yeah, should be, should be. But I guess we'll see in a few minutes when we'll be back with uh, the... Is it the deciding match already? Um, this will, yeah. This yeah. will decide who gets to top four. So the winner's bracket final is coming up next. So stay tuned.
We are back everyone. Up next, Luxa Esports for the Cypher Green. It's gonna be yes. a close one, I feel like. It will be, in my opinion, anyway, because Lux Esports have proven themselves as a great team <clears throat> as they've managed to bring themselves up into the champs division. Um, Zypher Green, I believe, is a, a Legends division team now, but I think there is one Zypher team in champs div, but regardless of that, this is going to be a close game as well, in my opinion. I think Zypher Green might take it, but there's no guarantee. Yeah, I agree. I think all Cypher uh, teams are quite strong. Luxa promoting to the Champions Division, they've proven themselves as well, but I don't think they are quite as strong as Cypher Green. So I think uh, the match will go to Cypher Green in the end. Yeah, indeed. We just try and get straight into this. Shall we? Yeah, sure. I will let the captains know. And the game can begin. Game one about to get underway now. Razzle and I believe that's Let's see who we have for Zypher Green. Pad, Flabben, and Ked against Razzle, Rattles, and Pichu. The ball gets played up onto the side. The ball now again played towards the net. Pad. Pad's trying to get an opportunity. Razzle getting an early goal after Rattles trying to block the team. Let's just have a look at this. Razzle with a nice shot, potential bump from Rattles, and the goal is conceded. Within the first 30 seconds, this goal has again been conceded. Opportunity, Peachy trying to play, potential double touch. Pads getting a nice save, paired now. Trying to get an opportunity of their own. Hits the ball high with Rattles, an opportunity. Pads with a nice angle, what a goal! Bang on 420. Um, Ked hitting that high with rattles. Pichu unable to react in time and pads. Just placing that into the center of the net. And it seems to be 1-1 very quickly. Pichu playing the ball high. Rattles playing the ball into the center. Now with a demo, ra Razzle couldn't quite reach it. <clears throat> Ked trying to bump Razzle. Opportunity is Pichu plays the ball up, but Ked can't get rid of it. Just manages to inflab and also pushing up for it. Rattle forced to head back towards his net as Pads plays the ball upfield. Zero boosts and can't quite reach it. Ked gets it over one. Pichu with an opportunity to save it and he does thankfully do so. Razzle now with a shot. Rattles can't quite reach it. The ball gets played up by Pads and Ked. Opportunity now. Pad just can't quite reach the ball. Flabber now trying to get rid of it. Over to Pads. And it's played high. Played into the center. Flabber gets a shot off. Pichu with a good save. Razzle forced to jump high for it. And the ball played down the line. An opportunity for Luxa. Doesn't quite go in. Flabber playing the ball down. It seems like they got potential fake. An opportunity still arises. Flabben can't reach it. Falls to head back pads. Playing the ball over to Ked and he scored. It's 2 1 with just over th under, sorry, three minutes remaining. Piju playing it to the side. Ball played up field. I'm gonna want her to take time out of this game very quickly to say uh, to those teams that are watching our and are playing. I recommend if you have any inquiries, please speak to Timito or Solasen. 
or any issues you have with your games. And regardless, this game will carry on. Ked trying to get it away from Razzle. Razzle now playing it upfield with an opportunity. The ball just bouncing out. Pichu with a shot. Can't quite cut it. Rattles playing the ball into the center. Ked with an opportunity. The ball's played towards the net. Flappen can't reach it. And opportunity. Pichu plays the ball up. Razzle. I believe that was got the shot. And they've scored. Opportunity now for a good kickoff. Unfortunately, it doesn't go well, but Flabbin's there. Gets it under Pichu. Gets a nice little f up. Just plays it too high. Pichu with zero boost. Realizes too late when he goes up for the ball and gets demoed by Flabbin. Opportunity for Razzles, it seems. Can't get, quite get it underneath. Pichu. An opportunity from Rattles, who's got a nice little dribble. Gets it over one. Can't go, get it over the other. Ra Razzles now. Opportunity for a good clear, but Pichu still holding possession for looks a Head playing the ball across goal. Rattles doesn't get a quite a good dribble. Pichu is zero boost now. Finally picking up some for himself. Tries to get it under one, can't quite do so. Razzle. Head playing that over. Unfortunately, only Pichu was the one to reach it. Rattles, I believe that was. Tries to get himself an opportunity for his team. Razzle plays the ball high. Rattles playing it up and to the side. It's 2-2 with 40 seconds remaining. Pichu plays the ball into the center. No one is there. Rattles with a nice demo on Ked and Razzle with a good save. Pichu trying to get rid of it. Rattles and Razzle both pinching it. Pichu playing the ball high. I guess hitting the... Backboard, can anyone reach it in time from Luxor? No, only Ked and Addis cleared. 15 seconds remaining, does it go into overtime? Razzle plays it high. Pichu's there, doesn't quite get to it. Opportunity potentially for Ked. The ball gets played up. Razzle doesn't quite get it. First overtime we have seen here. Razzle playing it up into the center. Both him and Rattles missing. Pichu playing that off to the side. Flabin trying to get it over him. Pichu with a nice hit into the backboard. Adds playing the ball up and it's bounced into the center again. One player's missed. Flabin's played it upfield. Potentially very risky. Rattles into Flabin. An opportunity. Razzle with a clear. Pichu spinning around swiftly to get a ball into the center. It does do so, but that is there, however. Razzle, off onto the ceiling. An opportunity. Does it go in anyway? And is there to save it. Rattles. Can't, can't quite reach it. Pichu trying to flick it into the center. Rattles is there to play it back to him. But pads well read. Razzle, opportunity plays it. Into the net. What a goal. Let's have a look at this again. Pads playing that up and Razzle, taking no time at all, places it far enough away from Flavin and has the first game going to Luxor.
<clears throat> game two about to get underway. Hads playing out of field. Razzle trying to clear it. Gets it over one. Tries to take it over the other, but an opportunity for Flavin there. Doesn't get it as well as he hoped. Ked just getting a shot off. Fortunately, it doesn't go towards the net. Flavin now taking the ball. Oh, the, over two of the players. Razzle just saving it. Opportunity for Rattles now. Gets the bump instead. Razzle gets bumped himself. But it's played over to the side. Peachy's there to get a nice cut. It hits the crossbar and saved by Pads. Flabben tries to play something with Ked. Unfortunately, it doesn't go too well. Rattles can't get much done with it. Flabben with an opportunity. Looks like he's going for a double touch. Doesn't quite get it how he wants it. Razzle taking his time. Tries to get a nice little think over Paz, and he does so indeed. Let's have a look at this again. He just just took the one touch that he needed and popped it too fast and too high for the player to reach. 1-0 just in the first minute. Pichu and Paz going at it. Opportunity is Flavin plays that high. Ends up playing it back towards his teammate and his own net. Nice little bit of control. Gets it over Pichu. But Razzle is there. Opportunity for Rattles. Gets a nice connection. Razzle just plays it too wide. Trying to get it around the player, but doesn't get it how he wants. Ball gets played up. Bounces out and down. Rattles with a nice little pinch. Easily saved by Pads, however. Pichu playing the ball into the center. <clears throat> Flavin now playing the ball. Upfield. Ked couldn't quite reach it. Razzle is there. Rattles now trying to play the ball into the center. Ball almost over. Pads. Nice little play from Pads to Flavin. The ball gets played up into the air. One off onto the backboard. And Pads also going up for it. But getting demoed from Rattles. Flavin was also there with it. Unfortunately couldn't quite get the ball. But Rattles is there now. Playing the ball up onto the opposing side. But Flavin is there. Opportunity from Pads. Gets a nice little angle, the ball off onto the backboard. Flavin couldn't quite reach it. Rattles plays the ball over to Pichu. Pichu into the ceiling, tries to play it back to his teammate, but it was a pinch with Pads, who can't quite get the shot off. Rattles is there and scores it himself. Pichu playing the ball over to Rattles. Nice power around one player into the center of the net, and no others can reach it. 2-0. Just over half the game remaining. Razzle playing a good kickoff. Flavin is there to clear it. Can't quite reach it a second time. Rattles getting himself another goal. Within a few seconds of kickoff. This is definitely putting on a lot of pressure to Zypher Green. Again, 3 0 with only half the game remaining. Still, Razzle playing the ball up. Ked now playing the ball with the ceiling. Tries to get a nice bit of control. Rattles is there. Razzle playing it over to Pichu, who looks like he's going to try and not get a redirect. Doesn't get the power that he needs, however. Pads is there to clear it. Rattles with a demo on Ked and Razzle. No one to pass to, but he gets a nice little 50. Pichu with an opportunity. But Ked plays it upfield and Rattles plays it high into the center. Rat Razzle. Opportunity now. Zero boosts. Can't quite reach it, but Pichu's there. Gets the fourth goal. Let's have a look at this once more. Razzle just getting a little tap on that and Pichu securing it in the bottom corner. Two minutes. Four goals, two looks a, this definitely looks like a win for them. Regardless of it being such a close one in the first game, they've definitely dominated in this next. Pichu, opportunity to play into the center, does do so. Flavin plays it upfield. Pichu blocks it, gets bump, bumps of rattles. But regardless, Pads is there to play it down to Ked, who just gets the ball saved by Rattles. Razzle now trying to go for a 50 flab and couldn't quite 
wouldn't quite allow it. Sorry. <clears throat> Rattles with an opportunity to save it. He does slab and is there. Razzle playing the ball up onto the sidewall. A nice little bit of control. Tries to get around one. He can't do so. An opportunity potentially for Zypher Green. Flavin gets a nice little bit of controlled touch there. Plays a bit far. Can he get it under one? He can. Rattles is there to save sh shot from pads. Ked can't quite reach it himself. Pichu with an opportunity for a powerful shot. Flavin is there to save it, however. Four seconds remaining. Four goals, two. Looks or it looks like a definite win for them, but there's no guarantee on this. Shots from Razzle, very well shot, and Labwin with a save. However, Peachy with an opportunity plays it into the center. Opportunity for Ked to play it down. Rattles can't quite get there. Pads plays it into the center, blocked. Peachy missing it. Looks like he's gonna try and bump. Pads couldn't do so. Still an opportunity allies. A shot just taken, bounces off the post and the crossbar. Ten seconds remaining. This definitely looks like a looks a win. Nice little flick. Three, two, one. The game is secured to Luxa Esports. Indeed. I didn't expect it the way it did. But Luxor is victorious. Indeed they are. It was we both expected it to be quite close. But indeed Luxor have made it to the top four. And they'll play again tomorrow. The top four. And we have currently another winner's bracket final going on. Oh my knee versus irrelevant esports. I think we don't have a result for that one yet. But I will go quickly check. Um I don't believe we do. No, no, we don't. But the next match being streamed, Lynx Esports versus Cypher White in the lower bracket. Yeah, we have moved down into the lo the lower bracket now. <clears throat> To the four games being Gedalions, Red Water, and Ascension vs. Nova, Lynx Esports against Zypher White, like you mentioned, Emergence Academy against either No Hope or Minimum Wage. We're just getting results back of the Irrelevance Esports vs. Almighty game. So we will see how that outcome is shown. Wait in a little bit. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Anyway. Exactly. We'll be back in a few minutes with Lynx Esports versus Cypher White.
We are back once again, all the players are ready, but first we need to do the predictions for Lynx Esports versus Cypher White. Wolf, what do you think? Hmm. Well, Cypher White are definitely a very strong team, no doubt about it. I've seen the Lynx Esports play, and they've dropped to the lower bracket, which doesn't show much promise in my opinion. Yeah, they I mean, lost they against did. another Cypher team, Cypher Green. Yeah. So there's no guarantee that they're going to win this. So I'm going to say Cypher White are going to secure this game. Yeah, I think the Cypher organization will end them. Will end their way in the lower bracket. Will send them home. Indeed, but most importantly, the How Many This Irrelevant Esports game has just come back with Irrelevant Esports winning 3-1. A uh, 2-1, sorry, not 3-1. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that means Irrelevant Esports and Luxor Esports will both be playing tomorrow in the top four. Yeah, yeah. and we also have Gudalians against Redwater Tidal Waves. I think uh, Gudalians is going to take that one. Yeah, I I do. I'll agree with you on that one. Um, Ascension versus Nova. I mean, that game's already been played, so I must say, well, not already been played, as in it's happened before. This is the <laughs> fake playoff promotion game, I guess. Exactly, but not Ascension. with the same lineup yeah. for Ascension. Yeah, I don't think it was the same. Is it the same for Nova? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Might be wrong. But for that game, I'm going to say Ascension. Um, and then it's Emergence against either Minimum Wage or No Hope. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the result. Indeed. But regardless... Wait, I'm going to check if No Hope... Might, they may have forfeited the game, did they not? I'm not quite sure, actually. They, they did against Ascension. So it seems that Minimum Wage might just get the pass. Yeah, to probably. Emergence. I think that's how we'll get that done, but let's move on to this game. Yeah, Lynx Esports with the Cypher White. Waiting for the players to join, and then we're ready to go. Game one of Lynx Esports against Zypher White. Just about to get played now. It seems like a very strong team in Zypher White. But I can't, just all over the place at the moment. Cherry playing the ball upfield. <clears throat> Looks like they're going to follow it up and potentially play across into the center. Rayman flicking it outwards to Straffers. Playing it into the center to Thomas who can't quite get to the ball in time but frantic trying to get around Strafez who gets demoed by Obscure and Cherry playing the ball up Thomas now trying to control the ball play it towards Raymond but he doesn't get it again Thomas with an opportunity to cross it but this time stopped by frantic <clears throat> Cherry playing the ball into the center but Rayman is there to score it with the minutes gone. Thanks very much with a lot of power on that shot. Neither player in net was a were able to reach it in time. <clears throat> 
kick off there. Cherry with an opportunity. Rayman, however, was there to stop it. Looks like he's gonna take the ball up, maybe into the center with a nice little controlled play. Strafez couldn't quite get the angle he wanted. Thomas playing the ball too far wide. Obscure. Playing the ball up into the center. Doesn't get it how they want it. Strafez getting a nice bit of controlled play. Securing himself and his team the goal. Just plays it behind the player before he could even have time to react. And it's placed bottom corner with three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Two goals. Frantic playing the ball into Strafez, who's got it over to Thomas. Trying to get himself a nice little play, but Obscure flicks Rayman and Cherry with a nice little angle, but Strafez is there to e easily save it. Plays it into the center to Thomas. Thomas backing away, it seems, but <clears throat> Strafez is there to possibly secure themselves the goal. Unfortunately, they can't, and the ball gets played upfield. Strafez playing the ball across the side. Ball played into Rayman from the shot of Cherry. Frantic can't quite reach it. The ball's played into the center. Cherry with three minutes still remaining. Opportunity potentially arises and Strafez with an uncomfortable save. Looks like he's going to try and play it into the center. Oh, he just reads the bounce, pops it down to a teammate who can't quite reach it, but Rayman is there and gets his team the goal. Strafez playing that ball down with a little bit of a flip reset. Rayman just bullet hitting that into the bottom corner before anyone could reach it in time. Thomas running that kickoff and Frantic trying to play it over to Obscure, but Rayman is there. Strafez, nice little bit of controlled play. Couldn't quite get it towards his net, but it looked like a bit of help from Obscure. The ball gets played into the center. But Rayman, opportunity to play the ball down to a teammate. Can't quite do so, and Frantic taken over by Cherry. Can't get, get the flick, however. Frantic getting it around one. Strafez is there. Thomas trying to hit it out into the bottom corner. Obscure is there with a great save. Thomas trying to get a second goal, I believe, for himself. Oh no, himself a goal just in general. Sorry, I didn't have to check the stats there. I'm frantic, playing the ball high into the sky, but Thomas is there just to block it. Straff is playing it back down to Rayman. He plays it across potentially to Thomas, who backs away smartly with Straff as getting the save. Opportunity as frantic, plays the ball onto the backboard. Cherry playing that into the center. Obscure playing it under one and getting his team the goal. Let's have a look at this little bit of team play. Cherry plays that just into the center and Obscure playing that perfectly under Rayman into the center of the net. Both other Zypher White players expected the save and pushed up field very unfortunately. Cherry playing the ball into the center but Thomas is there playing the ball over to Graf. Strafez and tries to get the center ball. Frantic does the same. Thomas getting the block, but an opportunity still arises. Strafez this time. Frantic ball into the ceiling. Can he get a second hit off of it? A nice little pinch almost, but Rayman is there reading it well. Cherry trying to get the ball into the center, but Rayman is there. No one in there. Is the ball wide? It is. It bounces straight into the center. Rayman can't get the as he's blocked by Frantic. A minute remaining. 3-1. Opportunity now. Still for either team. Strafez getting a save off of Cherry. Frantic. Doesn't get it. Strafez. Playing the ball over to the side. Cherry is there to get a little pass. But Rayman well read. Thomas playing the ball into the centre. Strafez is turn this time. Obscure trying to get the clear. Very weak and... Cherry is there, Strafez playing the ball up high, nice little bit of controlled play, obscure with a block however, it's 20 seconds remaining, this countdown just might give them enough time, opportunity still for Lynx, 
Strafe is with an opportunity. Five seconds remaining. This definitely looks like a win for Zypher White. Indeed it is. Strafe is playing it high. Thomas is there. Can't quite reach it. And the ball has hit the floor. <laughs> Two underway. Opportunity now, Rayman. Trying to get a nice little flick. He does. Plays it too high into the crossbar, however. Obscure. Thomas with an opportunity. Rayman playing the ball upfield. Thomas doesn't quite get it how he needs it to. The ball just hits the top corner. Strafez doesn't get it well and Thomas with an opportunity tries to play it under frantic Rayman nice little hit and it's in <clears throat> Rayman playing that ball straight down into the bottom corner One goal in within the first 40 seconds. Cherry. Opportunity in Frantic. Thomas playing that ball up. Can't quite get the center that he needs. Actually, he does off of the player's hit. Strafez looks like he's going for a double touch. Great angle. Cherry hitting that hit to... Thomas, who plays that perfectly into the sky for Strafez, who just gets a nice little hit down into the bottom corner. Two goals in just under a minute. Cherry now with an opportunity, swiftly blocked by Strafez, who plays it up to 
Rayman doesn't quite get the angle that needs. But the ball's into the center. Thomas is there. Can he get a controlled touch? No, Straff has tried to get the goal himself. He couldn't quite reach it. Obscure. Euro boost. Doesn't get any power that he wants on it. Rayman plays the ball into the corner. Cherry. Plays well upfield. I believe that was Stravers. Couldn't quite reach the angle that he wanted for the shot. Thomas plays the ball into the center, but the opportunity now for Obscure to play it into the center. Cherry is there. And a goal is secured for Linked. Very well worked there, Cherry. Obscure playing that into the center. Three minutes remaining. Rayman playing it down to Strafes, I believe that is. Thomas securing his team their third goal. Let's have a look at this. Rayman to Strafes. Strafes playing it down. Obscure getting demoed by Rayman. And it seems to be another one-sided game. Cherry playing it down. Straight into Rayman who gets a nice little fake it seems. Perfectly under the crossbar and over obscure. Yes, uh, it was frantic, sorry, not obscure. Regardless, Raymond's taking his time, not needing to actually go for the ball there. And it's 4-1 with three minutes remaining still. Obscure playing the ball, top corner, the ball bouncing back down to him, but he can't quite get the angle that he wanted. Raymond couldn't get a good clear cherry now, trying to play the ball upfield, but Thomas is there. We hit, the ball played into the center, Cherry can't get the angle, or the power. Rayman get, tries to get it over one, instead goes under Obscure. Thomas with a nice flick, gets it high and the ball's in anyway. These team players from Zypher White are proving to be dangerous. Frantic couldn't quite get the power that he wanted to save the goal. 5-1 with half the game remaining. Rayman. Then the ball over to the side. Frantic. Strafez just leaving it as Cherry plays it up into the backboard, which Strafez is already there. Rayman. Trying to get rid of it. Strafez is there this time, and two demos from Zypher White. Just trying to make sure they don't get an opportunity at all. Frantic plays it across to Cherry, who doesn't get the angle. Thomas. Frantic playing the ball into the center. Rayman is there to play it up. Strafez looks like he's going to try and go for a potential hit, but he doesn't get it how he wants it. Thomas plays it high. Rayman playing the ball into the center. Strafez just a bit of control needed. Thomas tries to get the shot and Frantic with a save. Minute and a half remaining. Frantic booms it downfield. But Rayman with a great save and block of an attempt on goal. Frantic tries to clear it. Strafes is there. Another 50. This time Thomas with the control gets it high. Just into the backboard and Frantic. Frantic Lee trying to get rid of it. But the ball gets played down by Strafes and it's 6-1 with a minute remaining. Strafes having all the time in the world to play that ball just underneath the crossbar. Two strong 50s that realistically went neither way. Strafes finally getting an opportunity for his team. The ball passes down. Rayman is there but frantic. Managed to block it. 6 1 this game definitely looks like a win for Zypher White. Strafez playing the ball up into the center, but no one is there apart from us taking his time. Tries to get it over Obscure. He gets demoed, but still plays it upfield to a potential teammate. Strafez is there. 
plays it up. Obscura is just back in time, and Rayman and Stravis have both gone up for that. Only Stravis hitting it. Thomas couldn't quite reach it. No player back in time, but nonetheless, Stravis pushing up, already trying to get his team the seventh goal. Ten seconds remaining. An absolute certainty of a win for Zypher White. Thomas hits the post in between all plays off Strafez. Strafez is shot. And the ball is hitting the floor with a Zypher White securing themselves this second game win. Yes, very interesting indeed. Cypher White beating Lynx Esports, kicking them out of the lower bracket. Yeah. Also, quite convincingly. Indeed. Um, let's have a look at a few of the other games. Emergence Academy beating Minimum Wage. Also, apparently, um, Ascension beating Nova once again. Gedalions and Redwater Tidal Waves is a game that I haven't seen of just quite yeah i am unsure why however next game up will either be cypher white against emergence academy or ascension versus Gedalians or tidal wave yeah which is the game that will be streamed next ascension versus Gedalians or redwater tidal waves Definitely gonna be an interesting matchup. Indeed. Do we want to try and go for the predictions of these last two games? Yeah, sure. Okay, so... Ascension versus Nova is the win. But Ascension versus Gedalians or Red or Tidal Waves. How do you think of about either of those games? How do you think either of them are going to work? Well, Ascension versus Godellians, I believe that Godellians could take it if they beat Redwater Tidal Waves. But when Redwater Tidal Waves are playing Ascension, I don't quite know who's gonna take it. Could be Ascension, could be Redwater Tidal Waves. It's kind of a 50-50 for me. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna say an Ascension win regardless. Wait, what? Hang on. Sorry, I, I've read in one chat that... Okay, never mind. I misread a lot of the messages. So, Ascension have apparently lost... Oh, really? ...against Nova, yeah. Well, I don't have any screenshots quite yet. Mm, yeah, Nova, I just... My prediction was what I'd based it all on. So, okay. Changing that up. <laughs> Nova against Tidal Waves or Nova against Gedalians, how do you think those are going to work? Ah, uh, well, I believe Nova could get a hard time against either one of them, to be honest. They weren't looking their strongest in the first match, so it will be interesting to see how they will do. Indeed. So Zypher White against Emergence, it seems also. Trying to get an update of the actual overlay. Um just we just need confirmation of the game. The the games that have been or are being played. Yeah, me too. I'm getting a lot of messages right now. I'm trying to sort out the Tidal Waves vs. Gedalians game. We'll be hopefully back shortly. Yeah, be right back.
Hello, everyone. Unfortunately, we just had a bit of a error there, but we are now playing with <clears throat> Nova against Gedalians. Aligi up for the ball. Looks like he's going to try and play it back into the center. Can't quite get it done so. But Glemothy is playing it into the center himself. The ball gets dropped down. Perfect playing the ball. Potentially to... Big man. God, I don't know how to pronounce that. Or try to say his name. Regardless of that. Perfect had played the ball possibly into the center, but no one was there. Eskimo. Trying to pinch it away. Big man too. Manny. T t please tell me how to... Is am I saying this guy's name right? <laughs> please. Timmy. Okay. Thank you. Kylie can't quite get the save. Big man too. Trying to get the clear. Perfect. Just waiting. Hi. Can't quite get the ball. Ball pinched out. Big Manitou can't quite get to it. Eskimo bounced and dribble in from Glamothy. Fortunately, they couldn't quite get to the ball. One nil with three minutes forty. Almost a goal straight off kickoff from Big Manitou. And Hyper playing the ball into the center. Manitou. Can't quite reach it off Kyle Gee. Perfect. Playing the ball high. Eskimo's there to try and touch it. Play it downwards. Unfortunately, it doesn't get anywhere. Big Manitou. Plays the ball into the center. Kyle Gee's there. Taking his time with the dribble. Plays it too far to the side and he can't quite get what he needed for it. Hype playing it over to Kyle who's playing it straight into the corner. Is anyone there from his team? Everyone has backed away. The fact. <laughs> Sorry, I've been messaged. Um, Hype trying to get a clear with four boosts. Very unfortunate there. Eskimo takes a shot. Gets a demo on Hype and Big Manitou getting demoed. Can't quite get the clear. Benfi and Kylie both pushing up for it. Doesn't quite get an opportunity. Kylie now looks like he's going to try to play it up onto the ceiling. Nice little double touch potentially. Just not enough boost to reach it. Hype playing the ball into the center. Only Perfect is there, however. Glemothy playing the ball down the line. Big Manitou over to Eskimo. Big Manitou back into the center. Glemothy with an opportunity to get a good save, but Hype is there to easily do it himself. Kyle Gee trying to get the save also. Perfect playing the ball into the center. A bit of miscommunication. Hype. Gets it around, Big Manitou miss flips it seems. Eskimo trying to get a pinch, does do so. Looks like he's going to play it into the center. Hype's there, waiting. Instead, Kyle Gee's there to save it. Opportunity now for Glemothy, but Eskimo's there to hit it underneath. Hype playing the ball out. Unfortunately, it doesn't go in his favor. Perfect now clearing it. Big Manitou. Couldn't get it underneath the players. Glemothy playing it. Kyle Gee. Kyle Gee trying to play it back. But Hype is there in replacement as Glemothy goes back with Manitou trying to play it onto the backboard to potentially a teammate. Unfortunately, only Kyle Gee is there to clear it. Kyle Gee get with a demo on. Perfect. Perfect now playing the ball upfield. Glemothy playing the ball up. Doesn't get it how he wanted it to. Kyle Gee now. Over to Glemothy. Glemothy now trying to play it into the center. Gets a nice angle. And the ball's in. 30 seconds remaining. Glemothy with this nice 
close angle, just over perfect, and it's 2 0. With 30 seconds remaining. Hype just trying to get that into the center, as is Kyligi. Eskimo desperately trying to get his team with the ball away, but Hype trying to get a flick and doesn't get it how he wanted it to go. But Glemothy plays it up onto the wall, down into the center. Hypes there, the ball trickling in, but saved from perfect. One second remaining, and it seems like a win to Dalians. Game two. It's about to get underway now. Gedalians winning that first game quite comfortably. Manitou now trying to clear the ball over to Perfect. Gets a nice little angle, but Kyligi is there. Eskimo this time trying to clear it. S hype. Trying to get an angle, but Perfect <clears throat> patiently waiting, trying to get around one. It looks like it does so. Perfect. Trying to get the ball down. Oh, Eskimo's been DC'd. We'll restart this game. Eskimo is unfortunately disconnected and there's no goal scored. So. Just get messaged by the Should we we'll leave right? We'll just we'll just have to leave, yeah.
the clouds gathered so fast But once the rain started pouring I knew this flood would last Sorry about that. Game two. <coughs> about to get underway now. Kick off strong. If I could play that over to Manitou. Getting a nice ball back into the center. The only person there it seems is Kyla Gee. Gonna have to boost and the ball. Hits the ceiling. Doesn't get much way with it. <coughs> <coughs> Kyla Gee trying to get a shot off but perfect is the hype now trying to play the ball away from the net fortunately he can't quite do so but there's an opportunity still Glemothy hype gets the ball underneath perfect and it's a goal <coughs> for Gedalians One nil with one minute just under gone. And Clemothy being beaten by Sky. An opportunity by Perfect. Clemothy getting it over big Manitou and Hype with another opportunity here. Saved by Sky. Kyla Gee. Opportunity now. Unfortunately, however, it's not going to turn out well, but Clemothy is waiting patiently. Regardless, Perfect is there. To hit it upfield, Kyla Gee hits the ball up too high and Sky beats him there. Manitou just had an opportunity, unfortunately saved by Clemothy. Big Manitou trying to get another one. Doesn't get it quite yet. <clears throat> Hype. In the ball into the center, perfect. Playing it across field. Sky getting the flick over his own teammate rather than an opponent, but almost worked out. Three minutes remaining. One goal only scored still. Hype playing the ball up. And Glemothy securing a second goal. Three minutes still remaining. <coughs> Sorry, I had a bit of whoa. Gone down the wrong pipe. Glamothy <sighs> and Sky on the kickoff there. I bumping his teammate in big mana too. In the ball. Cross to perfect. Perfect now. Playing it back up to mana too. Kyla Gee is there, however. Kyla Gee with a nice little dribble. Can't quite get the flick that he wanted, but. Regardless, Hype there with a shot. Manitou playing the ball across the side. Looks like he's going to follow it up himself into the center. But Glemfi with a nice pinch away. Perfect. Can't quite get an angle. Neither time and another opportunity to place it into the center. Manitou's there. Gets it towards goal. It's not as well of an angle that he needed it to be. Sky with an opportunity. Ball gets played into the center. Perfect with an opportunity and the goal. 2-1 at the moment. Very close game, it seems. Two 
2-1 again, but with two minutes remaining. Bit of packet loss, it seems. I'm not sure if this is for everyone. Seems it might be. Needless to say, the game does continue. Sky with a nice little flick. Can't quite get the angle that he wanted. Perfect. Into mana two. I think he's going to try and get into the top corner. Didn't, couldn't quite reach it with Glemothy getting the save. Sky. Getting the ball down. Placing it around the player. Couldn't get it any further. Hype playing out into the centre. But perfect there. The ball into the centre. One more opportunity. Allies for Sky. Sky just getting blocked by Glemothy. An opportunity for perfect. Another goal. 2-2. Two -two. This definitely looks like a more predominant Nova team. As proven, a little bit of a roster change due to internet from Eskimo. It's now 2 2 with a minute and a half remaining. Anna 2. Perfect. Trying to play it down. Sky. Looks like he's just going to head back as Glenfi plays it into the stem. Opportunity. With Sky. Kyle Gee with a nice touchdown. Gets it over Big Mana too. Looks like he's going to take his time even more. Gets it around Sky. Perfect is there to save it, however. Very fortunate. Big Mana too. Opportunity. Still allies. Sky playing it into the center. Nice little angle. Kyla Gee. Couldn't quite get the angle. Kind of playing it upfield. Perfect. Doesn't reach it. Manitou playing it up. Sky. Looks like he's going to try and wait for a pass. Unfortunately, can't get there. Big Manitou. Playing the ball into the centre potentially once more. Sky and Perfect both there. Sky with an opportunity. Plays it high into the... <clears throat> Big mana too. And it's in overtime. The ball gets played back into the centre. Big mana too tries to get the angle that he needs. Fortunately can't quite do so. Kyle Gee playing the ball up. Down the... Up the side of the field. Perfect playing it into the center. Very dangerous. Sky now playing it up into the center. Perfect with an opportunity. Gets the angle, but not the power. Kyle Gee going up onto the wall with a bit of an air dribble, it seems. Doesn't get it any further, however. Perfect playing it up onto the ceiling. A nice little pass down. Sky unable to reach it. Kyle Gee playing it up into the center. Sky. In it across to the side. He's going to take it up the wall, but can one of his teammates follow up? Big Manitou's there. Hype gets the save. Manitou there to block it again, but perfect playing it high. Kyle Gee gets the save. Hype playing that upfield. Sky playing it also carefully towards his goal. Kyle Gee trying to get a nice angle, but Sky blocking him. Big Manitou also. Sky with an opportunity now. Ball off the post. Kylie with a save. The ball bouncing. And it's in. Perfect with the goal.
Game three. Finally about to get underway. Very close and intense matchup here. Sky trying to play the ball. Down and into Manitou. Unfortunately can't quite do so. Glamophy. With a bit of a control. The Manitou gets a demo on hype and Sky with an easy save. Kyle Gee with an opportunity for a potential dish into the net. Doesn't get it how he wanted it to. Sky now with an opportunity. The ball gets played up. Glamophy playing it. A little bit of a flip reset scene. Big Manitou playing it on to the backboard. Perfect with a shot and it's in. Within in the first 30 seconds. Definitely looks like this, this Nova team could get themselves the win through to the next game. Interesting kickoff. Perfect. Now trying play to the next goal. Doesn't quite get it how they wanted it. Big mana too. Leaving it for Perfect who's now taking it up onto the wall. Playing it down into the centre. Manitou's there. Gets a nice angle in. It's in again. What a goal. What a well-worked team play. Just barely tapping the ball with the side of his car. Neither of the two players in net could reach it. And it's 2-0 within the first minute. Big Manitou playing the ball. Cross to Sky. Sky with a boom of a shot. Kylie is not able to reach it. Three goals on bang on a minute. Opportunities still arise for Gedalians as they've proven to be able to beat this team. Before, but it seems they seem to be crumbling. Sky securing a fourth goal. Perfect. Playing the ball up onto the side. Big mana too. Playing the ball down the field. Also the next. I want to quickly address this. Because there seems to be a few teams trying to play. Their last games. Tomorrow. Uh, today sorry. Not tomorrow. They're meant to be played tomorrow. Are they not to me? Would you like to quickly go through that? Sorry, I've, I just noticed that how many, or not how many, um, Strafez is trying to play how many already, and I'm pretty sure they're not meant to. Um, I believe, let's have a quick look. Um, Zypher White. So they were the lower seed team. Sorry about the casting. There's a bit of a dilemma there. I'll try and get back into it. Wait, is the game meant to be played? Yes. Next upcoming game almost underway. As it definitely seems. Perfect. And Big Mana too. With Sky also there. They're definitely going to win this game. With this five goal deficit, it looks extremely promising. Benefit with a nice bit of control. Hang it up. Goes for a little air dribble. Gets around one. A nice little bump from Hype or Kylagi there. And it definitely looks like they are going. They might be able to get this comeback. But it doesn't seem likely enough. Half the game still to remain, however. Opportunity still. Ball bouncing down. Sky playing that ball high. Opportunity for Perfect to clear it. Indeed, they do. Two minutes still. Perfect playing the ball up. Unfortunately, can't quite reach it. Sky with a shot. And it's 6 1. Two minutes still left to go.
from what it seemed to be such an intense and close matchup turned out to be a very one-sided series big manitou taking the ball away from hype with a little bit of a fake kylie trying to go for the keeper but sky is there regardless to save the shot big manitou leaving it for sky plays the ball up forwards hype playing it across in to the box kylie and glemothy both there neither getting it to the goal just barely missing Manitou trying to get it around both players hyped with an opportunity doesn't get the angle that he wants but Glenfie is there with a nice 50 against perfect needless to say this game has proven a challenge for both teams Sky with a nice little bit of a fake Glenfie and Kylie both there for the save Manitou securing themselves the seventh goal one minute and 22 seconds remaining. Just over Lemothy. Kylie expecting him to save that, it seems. And Manitou just taking it higher than both of the players. Nonetheless, this game still continues. A minute remaining. Sky up with the ball. Couldn't quite reach it. Lemothy neither doing so. And Hype. With a nice bit of control. Trying to play it down and away from their half. But it doesn't seem likely. Hype now into Kylie and Glemothy. Sky. Trying to get a nice bit of a save and clear. But Manitou's there to do. As is perfect. The ball off onto the backboard. Sky just missing the double touch. Kylie trying to get a shot off, but Sky getting his own back and demoing Kylie, who's missed the ball, and it's an 8 1, 7 goal deficit. 33 seconds remaining. Nothing much is needed to be said. This game is a certainty of a win for Nova. Sky just missing the ball, however. Manitou playing the ball up and out. Guy with an opportunity clears it. Looks like Manitou expected it to go in. But perfect thing bumped Manitou into it, getting the power they needed. 18 seconds remaining. <laughs> yes, he did. And it definitely seemed to be working out. 18 seconds Hype with the interesting kickoff and Manitou there potentially trying to get themselves the 10th goal. 10 seconds remaining. Manitou playing that ball high into his own backboard. Sky playing it over to Manitou. But Kylie is there. Needless to say, Nova has won this game. And I knew this yeah, what a victory there by Nova. I'm actually quite impressed. A little bit of a roster switch due to the bit of um <clears throat> a bit of a internet issue ended up working out for them. Just gonna create the match for the next game and it, we shouldn't we shall be back shortly. Exactly, the next game being Omani versus Cypher White. So, see you in a sec.
first game underway of his Eiffel White. This is how many? Celsius replacing, um, I can't remember who had played in the last game, but needless to say, he's thankfully replaced Thomas with an early goal there. Straffa is playing that down, Kirito playing it into Thomas, who just gets the perfect amount of power and height with a nice angle to make sure no one would able is able to reach it in just a matter of 15 seconds. Kirito tries to play the ball down to Jazz. Jazz playing it back up to Thomas. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> Leon playing that ball forwards. Strafez now trying to play the ball into the center. He does do so. Looks like he's going to try and get an angle on it. Couldn't quite reach it, however. Celsius with an opportunity. Ball gets pinched out. Ball bounces down. Strafez getting a nice angle. The ball floating towards the net. Kirito with a nice save. Leon now opportunity of his own. Nice little ball control. Tries to play it into the center. Can't quite do so. Leon trying to get back. Celsius with an opportunity there. Strafez. Playing the ball. Leon with a nice block. Thomas trying to get out the ball, but he doesn't do so. Celsius with an opportunity. The ball rolling down. Strafford's getting the ball played outwards. Leon. Playing the interesting shot. Oh, save, sorry. And Thomas couldn't quite get the angle he wanted. Celsius with a nice play into the center. Strafford's is there. Couldn't get it how he wanted it to. Celsius. Heading back. Trying to get rid of the ball. Nice little bit of play there. Jazz. Plays it out. Thomas with a nice bit of control. Jazz playing it into the center. Celsius. Bit of ball control. Gets it over one. Gets it over Leon. Thomas trying to get over get Jazz out of the way. Straffer's trying to get rid of Kirito. Neither being done fast enough. And now it's still only one goal deficit but with three minutes to remain. Celsius playing that up to Thomas. Thomas playing that back onto the crossbar. Celsius well read, but he hits. He hits the crossbar. Thomas is there to finally clean it up. Let's have a look at this once more. Thomas playing that onto the crossbar. Celsius trying to keep it low. Couldn't quite do so. Gets demoed. Needless to say, the goal is still scored. Half the game remaining. 2-0. 2, -nil. Two. Life of White. <sighs> Sorry. Strafford's playing that ball high. Celsius playing it outwards and ball rolling down. Celsius trying to make a pass. Strafford's trying to get rid of it, but Jazz is there to potentially get himself a goal. Celsius playing that high with Leon. Leon tapping it down to Jazz, but Thomas is there to save it. Strafford's. Playing the ball out into the center. Celsius unable to get an angle. Strafez can't either. Thomas getting a nice flick to Jazz who blocks it. Opportunity still, but Kirito saves it. Leon trying to get rid of the ball, as is Jazz. Does do so, but Celsius is swiftly there to block it. Thomas played into the center. Celsius trying to do... Another center ball, but unfortunately no one is there in time. Leon not playing the ball up into the center for Kirito. Pinching it with Strafez. Thomas, opportunity as he takes the ball up. Can he follow it up? He can, but Jazz is there also. Celsius, nice 50. Strafez now playing the ball in to the center. Thomas, play the ball up. Ball now gets played down towards the net. Opportunity with Kirito for that angle, but he can't quite reach it how he liked. Strafez trying to get around Leon. Doesn't do so. Leon with a nice a nice amount of boost. Kirito with a shot, however. Celsius, can he reach it? He can very comfortably as well. Jazz unable to get to the ball. Celsius couldn't quite reach it either. Strafford's getting demoed by Leon. And Kirito securing the goal with just under a minute. Thomas, that was, sorry, who 
just was unable to reach it. The ball getting placed into the bottom corner, out of his reach. <sighs> a minute still to remain. Celsius with a potential goal opportunity. Strafes this time. Jazz with a nice save. Jazz bouncing it up with a pinch. Just getting demoed by Strafes. Strafes jumping back, trying to get around Leon. Thomas with a nice little bit of play to get rid of the ball, but an opportunity still rises for how many? The ball falling down. No one to go for it apart from Jazz. The ball into the center for Leon. See how this happened. Jazz with a backflip, hitting it past one. Stravis couldn't get the clear as it hits. Jazz perfectly lands in the path of Leon to score it. Leon now playing that ball up to Thomas, playing it up and out away. Jazz couldn't quite reach the ball. Kirito playing the ball upfield. Thomas playing that to Celsius. Celsius with a great angle. Oh my word. Celsius. Let's have a look at this once more. Thomas playing that downfield. Celsius with a perfect redirect. Play that just by the post. And to just get the goal. Nine seconds remaining. It's 3-2. Ball bounces down. Jazz with an opportunity. Leon playing that into the center. Another goal opportunity. Two seconds. Oh my god. 3-3. Three, three, two seconds remaining. Such a t close and intense game. This looks potentially in an overtime, but there's no guarantee a goal could be scored on the zero second mark. Ball played up. Leon doesn't reach it and indeed it does go to overtime Kirito trying to get a decent kickoff Leon with a good ball control doesn't get the ball towards the net Jazz with a nice angle however Strafez with a pinch out and away Celsius with a nice demo and a goal in overtime 4-3 the first 16 seconds of overtime Celsius well read off of Kirito, giving Zypher White the first win. Game two about to get underway. Cypher White with the transfer, not transfer, the little sub in for Celsius has definitely proven useful. Thomas getting the first goal in a matter of four, five seconds. Good, strong kickoff again. Celsius pulling the ball to the side. Kirito now playing it upfield. Ball gets played down back into the center. Thomas and Strafez trying to get an opportunity out of it all. Unfortunately, can't do so. 
Thomas trying to play the ball away, but Kirito's there. So is Jazz. Straff is with a clear, the ball bouncing up. Kirito is there to it, however. Thomas. Nice little play, but the ball gets played back into his half. A minute gone already. And only one goal has been scored. Strafez with an opportunity. Doesn't quite reach the ball. Celsius still pushing up. That's proving to be very, very scary for the Almighty team. Not knowing how much boost he had. Thomas with a nice little bit of a clear. Celsius reading the bounce well. As did Kirito. And the ball falling straight to Leon. He's trying to clear it. But Strafez is there. Tries to get it around Jazz. He does do so. Celsius is there to shoot. But Kirito's there to save it. Thomas playing just missing the ball, sorry, and Strafez upfield, potentially getting himself across into Celsius, who gets blocked by Jazz this time. Strafez back into the center. Jazz again saving it. Celsius making his way back perfectly, timing his challenge. Ball into the center by Strafez. No, no teammates of his were there to reach it. Celsius. Oh god. Sorry. I'm very tired. It's been a long day. Thomas playing the ball. Up and out. Opportunity as Kirito. It's only one net. Backflips. Leon saving it. Jazz. Couldn't clear it. Oh my god. Such a close call there. Leon had shot it into his own net. Jazz had played it out but not far enough and no member of Zypho were able to capitalize. But needless to say, Strafez gets the second goal with just under half the game remaining. Very well placed shot there as well. Opportunity as Strafez plays that forward. Thomas there for the rebound, unfortunately gets blocked by Kirito. Leon can't quite reach the ball himself, but Thomas. Then in to Strafez. Jazz playing the ball upfield, playing a pass into Kirito, who gets a shot off the crossbar, off the post. And Thomas with the clear. Strafez taking his time, knowing he has this time. Gets a nice flick over the player in defense. I believe that was Jazz. Strafez taking his time, popping it up and getting a nice... Final push forwards to secure the third goal. Two minutes remaining. It's inevitable, it seems, that Zypher White are going to secure this game. Leon playing the ball over to Celsius, who tries to capitalize. Can't quite do so. Strafez over to Celsius. Doesn't get the ball, however. Thomas, nice 50. Jazz trying to clear it. Ball bounces up. Angle by Leon. Thomas doesn't get the clear how he wants it. Strafez plays it onto his backboard. Very risky play as him and Celsius both go up for it. Jazz trying to read the bounce to play it back into the center. Thomas is there. Kirito now playing it into the center himself. Leon getting it. Thomas missing the ball but still in a defensive position. Strafez taking his time. Having control over the ball. Thomas now trying to play the ball upfield. Celsius is there waiting patiently into the center. Jazz missing the ball. Kirito going for a bump, couldn't quite get it as no one challenged it. Leon taking control of the ball, Celsius missing it however, and Thomas and Jazz 50'd it with a minute remaining. Strafez, good control, gets it over Leon. Celsius playing it over to Strafez, but Jazz is there. Kirito demo demoing Thomas, an opportunity now. Kirito going for Celsius, it doesn't matter, but Celsius is there. Not fast enough, regardless. <clears throat> Needless to say, a minute remaining. 3-1, two goal deficit. Straff is playing the ball up, trying to get control of it. Gets it over Leon. Trying to get an extra flick. Gets it over Jazz, plays it back to Thomas over Kirito, but this time Leon's there. Celsius playing the ball back into the center. Can Straff has reach it? Expecting Jazz to hit it. Hits it too wide himself. Thomas pinching it. Strafez getting it over Leon. Kirito there missing. 
Trafo is getting demoed by Leon. It's just a mosh pit at this moment. Strafis. Strafes, sorry. Playing the ball up high, dropping it down. Jazz is there. He tries to play it over to Celsius. Neither team realistically getting an opportunity. But Leon gets it over Thomas. Off into the crossbar. Jazz with an opportunity. Celsius couldn't get the save. Jazz into Leon. Into the crossbar. Celsius almost got the save there. Just placed it more top corner. But regardless of it, a goal still to remain for Almaini within 12 seconds. They need to score it. Celsius control, hitting the ball down, keeping it low. Kirito. Jazz now with an angle. Thomas playing it high. He looks like he's just going to try and dribble it out or fake the dribble. He did. The ball bounces down. Kirito's unable to reach it. And Zai win. Yes, Cypher White make it into the top four alongside irrelevant esports, Luxo esports, and also Cypher Green, who just beat Nova 2 to 0. Indeed, those games will be done tomorrow. Do you want to explain how that will all work? Yeah, so we're going to start with the first. Uh, game in the upper bracket at 4pm CET the second game will be the lower bracket game at 4.45 CET then the loser of the upper bracket game will play the winner of the lower bracket game at 5.30pm CET and then the final will be at 6.45 p.m. CET It's gonna be an exciting day Just as today was Indeed it will Cannot thank the teams enough for getting themselves together to play this Tournament that's posted in the preseason of ECC season 3 Thank you Timmy For setting it up alongside GIF and Sky, also with the help of Solus of managing the tournament page for you all, alongside Timmy is also. Exactly. <clears throat> it was a pleasure. It was all kind of new to me. Never done this before. But I hope it looked good. It was fun to watch. For all of you at home. Let's take a last look at the bracket how it all unfolded indeed we'll start top left here if i can just get there myself <laughs> how many versus nova how many winning that game and then going on to beat minimum wage both nova and minimum wage going down into the lower bracket how many then beating ascension who got a forfeit or win against no hope esports Cypher Red forfeiting and Godalians winning against them and also the Cupcake crew, meaning that they played irrelevant esports who had um, a game against Cypher White, who also won via forfeit. And then below that, Team Alpha forfeiting against Emergence Academy, then beating the meme Dream Team. 2-0. Looks at esports winning by forfeit against Team Orion and Redwater Tidal Waves beating Luna Esports, but then losing against Lynx Esports and also moving into the lower bracket. Alongside all the other teams that have lost up until this point. Igneous Esports Academy beating Team Lozarity, but then Zolarity, not Lozarity, sorry. And then losing to Zypher Esports Green. Which dropped them into the lower bracket. And then, so we have our first lower bracket uh, complete. Igneous Esports Academy winning by forfeit alongside Tidal Waves and Minimum Wage. The Meme Dream Team losing against Nova 2-1. Zypher White beating Team Zolarity. 
and then Luna Esports, who won against Cupcake Crew. We move back to the upper bracket to to Ascension and Almini, who Almini had won 2 0 quite comfortably, it seems. Gedalians then losing to Irrelevant Esports, and then them moving down into the lower bracket alongside. Evergence Academy moving down to the lower bracket as they lose against Luxa Esports 2-0 and Zypher Esports Green winning 2-0 against Lynx Esports moving down into the lower bracket also. <clears throat> Igneous Esports Academy um, losing against Redwater Tidal Waves. Um, Nova forfeit winning, getting a forfeit win against Team Orion. Zypher White winning against Luna Esports, as I mentioned earlier, and Minimum Wage also getting a forfeit win. Leading on to some of the final games in the lower bracket, Gedalians get a forfeit win against Tidal Waves with a bit of a um, misinformation on my part there. Um, Nova beating Ascension 2-0. Um, Update this. Sorry. Um, they're winning 2 0, putting Ascension out of it, and Nova moving forward against Gedalians. Zypher White beating Lynx Esports, and Emergence Academy beating Minimum Wage. Zypher White also then winning against Emergence Academy, and Gedalians losing to Nova. And as we finally go up to the top two in the upper bracket, we have our relevant esports against Almini and Almini losing 2-1. Very close game. And looks for esports beating Zypher Esports Green in their game also. Both Zypher Esports Green and Almini have dropped to the lower bracket finally to the two final games in the end where we see Zypher Esports Green coming out on top against Nova and Zypher White coming up against Almini. So the top four teams, once again, will be Relevant Esports, Lux Esports, Zypher Green, and Zypher White. Those games will be played tomorrow at the times Timmy had mentioned earlier. In the order that Timmy mentioned earlier, and tomorrow I'll be joined alongside by Havoc, who's finally come out of his slump and will <laughs> <laughs> cast exactly. alongside me once again. <laughs> Really looking forward to that. That was a lot, a lot of matches. But four victorious teams playing tomorrow. And thank you, Wolf, for casting all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do next now. I think I might just get a jug of water <laughs> um, and probably sort of a few things out now. <clears throat> thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure casting all these games. Yeah, you did a great job. So, go on. to end the stream, below you can find the links to our stream, is, stream schedule for Season 3, our Twitter page at EUCCGG, to our Discord server, to our YouTube channel, to our tournament page for Season 3, and to our donation button. If you feel generous, please donate to this league to bring to get us to bring you more and better content indeed again thank you everyone for watching this long and extensive string of games i have been wolf and i've been timmy toe and thank you for watching